I'll be showing you the most common debugging methods to help fix your Google Ads tracking if it's not working properly. So overall, there are several debugging methods here that are probably going to find your error. So let's go through these step by step. So first off, we should check that the Google placement tag and your conversion tag is installed properly on your Shopify store. I did a full tutorial on how to install this on my channel. So if you don't have it installed already, make sure you check that out. But let's go and double check on our own Shopify store to make sure everything's installed okay. So if I load up my Shopify dashboard and I go to settings in the bottom left, this is going to load my settings section. And from there, I wanna to go to the checkout section and I wanna make sure that my tag has been installed successfully under the additional scripts. So if I scroll down here to the bottom, I can see on the order status page where you can add tracking scripts and other customizations. And I can see here that I have my Google ads tag installed along with the currency and the dynamic value setup. So that looks to be installed correctly. And that's what you want to look for on your Shopify store. The second common debugging method is going to be to use the Google tag assistant. This is a Chrome extension to help debug any issues. So we can find that just by searching Google tag assistant. It's going to be a website that Google owns. And so you can go and add your domain. So I'm going to go and add my domain. Now to note, there is a Chrome extension as well, but it basically just links to this page. So if I go back to my store, I click view online store and I'm going to copy and paste my domain at the top and then click connect. So this is going to open your site up in a new window and it's going to go do its check. So if I go load back the previous tab I had open, I can see it's now connected and I have an event that has been fired. The third tip is to try in a different browser. Sometimes you might have something blocking in a particular browser that you're using. Maybe you're using a more privacy focused browser that's going to block the conversions from tracking. So if you're using Chrome, maybe try Microsoft Edge or Safari. The next debugging tip is going to be using the browser developer tools as errors can be thrown here and we can possibly read them if related to our Google conversion tags. So we can do so by loading our Shopify store. I'm going to right click and then click inspect. And from there, I wanna to go to the console tab. You can see quite a few things down here and there are no errors thrown here for the Google tag specifically, but you can essentially read through these. Sometimes errors show up. What you might want to do as well is go to elements and then search for Google by pressing control F or command F to make sure your tag is actually appearing on the page as well. The next tip is to check for any ad blockers or VPNs. So I mentioned previously switching different browsers, but you can also go and disable these directly as well as you, if you're using uBlock or any ad block Chrome extensions, these can block your Google tags from firing, which can impact your testing when you want to make sure everything is set up. Okay. Next, you want to actually log into your Google ads account and you want to go to the conversions being tracked and make sure they're not paused or removed as this can prevent tracking as well. Lastly, if you've just set this up, they might take a few hours to propagate and make sure everything's working. So if that's the case, try testing in a few hours and things might be working by then. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much profit your store has actually made. You have your cost of goods sold, your ad spend from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok. You have your transaction fees, your refunds, your app expenses. These are all things you need to track manually, and that can be a very tedious and time-consuming process. But that's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once it's set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations along with tons of different metrics and analytics so you can truly understand your Shopify store's performance. There's a link in the description below where you can get a 15 day free trial or you can find it directly on the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. So this concludes the video here. We went over common different debugging tips for tracking your conversion tracking from Google to make sure everything is working okay. Hopefully these tips helped here and if they did, make sure you like and subscribe below as that really helps the channel out. If you have any questions about anything, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.